Okay, so Charlemagne the God has taken to the Breakfast Club this morning to apologize to Kwame Brown, the NBA player, okay? Now, for most of you guys who don't know the story, basically what happened was Charlemagne the God was covering a story about Kwame Brown's beef with Matt Barnes and a couple other people that's on a podcast together that was throwing shade at Kwame Brown's playing skills. Well, Charlemagne decided to jump into the conversation and, and basically discuss Kwame Brown's family history because they're both from the Carolinas. He basically threw out all of Kwame Brown's family dirty laundry, talking about his father and his brothers claiming that they were allegedly murderers and all these different things. Just basically defaming the name, okay, of Kwame Brown based off the actions of his father and his brothers, alleged actions, okay? And this set Kwame Brown off. He took down to the YouTube streets and basically blew up Charlemagne's spot and everybody else's spot and basically, you know, called Charlemagne out for um, his alleged involvement with a 15-year-old um, where he had took a plea deal where he was being charged for alleged uh, rape or, um, but it was uh, charged to a lesser charge, okay? So basically, Charlemagne took to the Breakfast Club. I have the audio. I want you guys to listen to it. And he apologized. I got a clip. I want you guys to hear it. Um, and he apologized for his actions. And then I'm going to give you guys some more commentary after that. But I want you guys to listen to this. And it also, he stated that he actually talked to Kwame Brown's family and his sisters and stuff like that, who chore Charlemagne a new a-hole. So now he's a apologizing. Now, I don't know if this apology is like, I don't know. It, it could be sincere, but I honestly feel like Charlemagne is scared of people coming for him now in this whole Me Too era thing, basically calling him out for what allegedly happened with the 15-year-old back in the day. Um, I think that's one of the main reasons he's apologizing because he just wasn't ready for that smoke and fire, especially with him having a nerve to give Kwame Brown a cease and desist when he started the whole thing. It's just like, it's the arrogance for me. But anyways, I'm going to play the audio. I want you guys to hear Charlemagne the God's apology. And then I want to hear your opinion on whether you believe that this apology was legit. And what do you think the main purpose of his apology was for? Was it for more so Kwame Brown and his family? Or was it for Charlemagne the God to save his reputation? Y'all check this out. By the way, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like button, okay? And comment below. It's the DJ Jerrica Podcast. Donkey today for Monday, May 24th goes to me, Lenard McKelvey. Uh, contrary to popular belief, this is not the first time I've given myself Donkey today because Donkey today does not discriminate. I mean, I may be kind of biased, towards certain people, but I don't have any bias when it comes to myself. If I'm wrong, if something I do or say doesn't sit right with my spirit, I have to apologize and do better moving forward, and that's what I'm about to do right now. I want to apologize to Kwame Brown and Kwame Brown's family. I want to apologize to his father, Bill Brown, and, and, and the family of his father. See, last week on this radio, in my attempt to defend a Charleston, South Carolina-born brother like myself, uh, I revealed too much information about that man's family. And even though all that stuff is public record, some things just don't need to be said on the radio, and they definitely don't need to be said by me. When I look back you know, on the way I communicated that, I communicated it all wrong. And I unintentionally triggered trauma in a lot of folks I grew up with who I genuinely love. I'm sure I caused a lot of pain for not only Kwame Brown, but for his family, especially his family in my hometown of Monk's Corner, South Carolina. You know how I know? Because I spoke to a few of them. Uh, I've been on the phone this weekend with, with, with mothers of children and their children. Uh, salute to Shaliba and her daughter, Brianda. Brian, Brianda. I was on the phone with uh, sisters like uh, Wallet. Salute to Wallet. Oh, she cursed me out good. And, you know, I was apologizing for triggering them, causing them pain because I was casually discussing their family's trauma, man. And, and that's something that I have to stop doing. That's something that we all have to stop doing. I was talking to my sacred purpose coach, Yadi Alba, this weekend. She's like a spiritual therapist. I have her and my clinical therapist. And that's what we were talking about, how we casually discuss each other's traumas. I didn't even think about when I spoke on, you know, Kwame and his family, how many people were impacted by those things I was speaking on. I mean, that's that's generational. OK, I, I caused pain and unintentionally unintentionally poked at people's wounds. OK, wounds that will probably never heal. And I can't take back those words, but I can't apologize. You know, I think oftentimes we, meaning black people, we fight each other with our demons, whether true or false, whatever is the worst thing we know about a person. I think we I think we know about a person. We default to that. And that was not my intention. I was not in any way, shape or form trying to paint Kwame in a negative light. OK, that black man is not my op. He wasn't my op when I said it. In my mind, I'm defending that man, but I should have been defending him as Lenard Charlemagne the God McKelvey, the professional, and not Lenard Larry, whatever you want to call me from Monk's Corner, South Carolina. All right, you guys. So you guys heard that audio, okay? Now, 
Um, it's nice that he apologized, but it wasn't really necessary for him to say what he said in the first place. You guys tell me what y'all think about the whole situation. It sounds sincere, but I wonder what the full intentions was. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Much love. Hey, you guys, if you like this clip, make sure you guys check out the full podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify right now. It's the DJ Jerrica Podcast, where I talk about celebrity news and commentary, and we have a good time. We talk about entertainment news, world news, anything that's related to the urban world I like to talk about. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now, whether you're on YouTube, whether you're on Spotify, whether you're on Apple Podcasts, Instagram, go ahead and follow me, y'all. Y'all, it's the DJ Jericho Podcast, and we have a good time, all right, you guys? And if you guys like celebrity interviews, I also do some celebrity interviews as well, you guys. I appreciate y'all's support, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Much love. Peace.